Okay, long time no chat. <laughs> I have not posted a video on my YouTube in I think a couple months. And I just, I don't know, the last couple of months between school and the beginning of summer break, it's just been not so easy to like stop what I'm doing and put a flip up. But as you can see from my last video, this is not my pocket. I was in the pocket for like a day maybe. And then I was immediately back into this. And then I kind of flip-flopped and played with my Midori Passport, which I also love. Uh, but ultimately, I am currently using my Giglio. This is the XL Campania. And my previous videos, I shared that I was using Franklin Covey Compact Inserts. I am back to personal. I went through my stash of inserts I already had printed. And I printed some new ones. And fully set up regular personal size inserts. Um, so to kind of get into this, I do have my little Midori charms that I take these back and forth between my Midori passport and the Giglio. I just clip them on here or I clip them on the elastic of my actual Midori. Uh, just a business card, some pictures and stuff. Not much has changed. I have a few band-aids in this little zipper compartment. In here I have some notes that I have yet to write into my rings. So I just tucked them in there. So if I need to reference them, I can. My planner is pretty chunky, but I feel like my planner is always pretty chunky. And yeah, I've added a little bit more side tabs to make it easy for me to flip from certain sections to certain sections. Whereas before I would use like paper clips or some, I'm, for the most part, I know where my stuff is, but I liked having um, just a few more tabs. So the front section of my planner this is not really a section that I necessarily like write in, write in. It's more like I would transfer things into this section, except for my finance. I do have a checkbook register, an online tracker, and um, a bill tracker. So home section, honestly, a lot of this stuff I've had for a long time. So if you guys have questions or anything from, please let me know. And I will certainly let you let you know where they're from. So this is, this I do know is my minimal planner. It's just the things to buy. Fly Lady, that is Analita, Analita Designs. Uh, and then I do have my home broken down into different sections. I did print this cleaning tracker that I've had. Uh, oh no, this is a new one I bought. This is from Perfective Planner. And then I'll just like mark things off. It took me a hot second when I printed this to see, I'm like, how do I use this for the whole month? I'm not quite understanding this. Uh, but obviously the top row is for the top numbers, bottom rows for the bottom numbers. So I have my daily stuff, my weekly stuff, my monthly stuff that is subject to change. Like as I use the insert, I have a social media income tracker. That stuff just gets direct deposited into our other checking account. So I don't really pay any mind to it. I just get an email saying, Hey, you're getting a deposit from YouTube. And I'm like, great, but I want to start writing it all down. My husband does for tax purposes, but I was curious myself. Uh, vehicle maintenance log. These are Peanuts Planner Co. I did not print them backsided at all because I just wasn't in the mood to. And then this is just like, you can use this for anything. It's in there. I don't know if I'll utilize it, but all these little guides are from Plan With B. And then I just, I mean, I have a few random ones in here. Uh, this, I just started a new page of tracking well visits for our pets. This is like a section of things that we've had done to the house, like septic pump, like our vehicles, those type of things. More pet expenses. And yeah, some appliance info. And then just a couple extra sheets for that section. And then this, I was just going through other things that we spent for pet expenses. And yeah, my finance section, like I said, Bill tracker, online order tracker, and checkbook register. It's really simple. There's not a lot to it. This is a very old dashboard from Tweety Pie Collage. And this is like my gift section slash Christmas section. It's in here because I would like to keep track of things that I do purchase for people for their birthdays. And then obviously Christmas is self-explanatory. This is just pretty paper from Latua Notes that I had laminated. I had that in my stash too. This is something that I just made with lamination paper and sticky pockets. And more Latua Notes. This is also Latua Notes. It's just my in, part of my inbox section. So I have things that I need to take care of. This is Peanuts Planner Co. And I have, it's like under like miscellaneous. And then I just wrote down some inserts that I use. My weeklies are Main Mama Plans. Future Log is Perfective. 
paper, monthlies, peanuts, planner co. However, that has just changed. And then my daily is main mama plans. Inbox, plan with B. And then this is the corrective paper um, that I use for future log. I can't remember whose video I saw that in. Um, but I had to have it. And these are plan with B as well. Peanuts Planner Co. I typically use this for my husband's schedule. I've yet to fill it out. I mean, it's in our phone, so it's it's there for me. I've shared this. I've had questions on this. This is also Peanuts Planner Co. I believe it's a freebie in her Facebook group. Don't quote me. I can't remember. I have so many of her inserts. This is another Tweety Pie collage. I've had it this long. I mean, my kids were so little. My monthly calendar, this is, I think it was like $2 maybe. I don't even remember from Walmart. It's just the Walmart calendar. Let's see. I've seen um, Seaweed Kisses, Michelle. She uses one of these, not in her rings, um, that I haven't seen at least. But she has one of these as well. So I saw that and I had to have one. There's another account that uses it. Kim, I believe her name is. And uh, she hole punches hers into her planner too, but it's great, especially if you don't like printing inserts. So the beginning part of the year is the freebie from Peanuts Planner Co., which is just my monthly calendar. I, as long as I have a monthly calendar, I could use any planner, honestly. And then we are going to jump into using the actual calendar, and it is a two-year calendar. I feel like it fit in here perfectly. I, li I literally just took the staples out of it, cut it down the middle, um, and I did round the corners with my corner punch and, um, yeah, I feel like it fit in here pretty well. I have my type A for Alexa corner pages. So I have this for monthly, weekly, and daily. It's just a little page divider. So anyway, like I said, I have, it's like, it's two years worth. Uh, yeah, no, it'd be like a year and a half. Anyway, I forgot I took the remaining months out. And then I just have a couple pictures. This I've had in my planner for years. Um, yeah. And then my dailies, I was using Me and Mama plans. And then I ultimately decided to skip back to um, using SM plans. These are SM plans. And basically, I just make a running to-do list and cross it off as I complete it. I just feel like that's how my brain works. I just need to dump out a list. I don't need anything fancy. This is just one of those file of facts dividers. I love these because they're already pre-slit. And then my weekly section is, like I said, is Main Mama Plans. This was from, like, Canva. Those are my weeklies. And then this is in here uh, because I'm taking the kids to the beach. And I have the rest of the year in here in my weeklies. And then back here, I tucked in a few more of those checklists just because of the way they, them going backwards. Because I didn't want to hole punch into those. And then this is just a divider with some little... Oh, there's something sticky on there. I need to make sure that I put a sticky note or something there. I'm actually going to do that now so I don't get like residue all over. Put that there. This is just a... A notebook that I cut down the cover. I had that when I had the Franklin Covey size. And this is just my miscellaneous. Violet drew those. There's like a grocery list. This is just my scratch notebook paper. So if I ever need to jot down a note real quickly, that is where I do it. And then my family section. This is quite a big section. Is this my last section? Yeah. So in here I have like, oh no. I stand corrected. Family section. I did put this in here and then I did cut down a Hobonichi Weeks to use for memory keeping. Uh, so I just, I used to do this. I used to call it my capture of the day. I used to use it on Annie Plans Weekly. She has a dated weekly as well. What I liked about Annie Plans is that it's a week on one page, but I saw this Hobonichi for 10 bucks and I grabbed it. So I'm using that and then I'll likely just go back to Annie Plans. And then each of these tabs are my kids. Um, so I just keep track of sick days whenever they miss school, if they're not feeling well. They each have a health log as well. And then I have my own health log too. I printed out this appreciation log. This is from my minimal planner. A little appreciation. And then this is what I was using for my workouts. Um, just to note down all my workouts. Yeah. And then obviously I took... I took a hiatus because I had a hysterectomy. 
So I'm going to get myself back into that. I did just print this. It's a water intake log. I drink my water. I don't know why I feel the need to have a log. And then this is just another habit tracker, sleep stress tracker. And then this is where I track my steps and calories. I don't calorie count. I just take the number that the phone says in that workout app. It'll say, you burned X amount of calories. Um, I do not calorie count. Uh, and then back here, I just have a type A for Alexa dashboard. And I, it's just like my little sticky note hub. And then I have my picture of Walter. A couple other things. I believe this is like a B6 size. I don't think it's A6. I think it's B6. And it's just a statement that I have to take care of. And then back here is business cards, pictures of my kids. Um, and yeah. That is it. Some stickers. There's some stuff in this pocket. I have papers in the back pocket. And for pen, I'm currently using, well, this is my highlighter. This is from Christina Loves Planning. It comes in like a pack of five. And then this is my pen. It is the Pilot Vanishing Point that I got for $70 on Amazon. I really wanted the black one back in the day, but I was like, I am not paying $100 for a damn pen. So that is that. Those are what I'm using for my pen and highlighter. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Bye.